Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk more specifically about what wavelengths are and discuss the electromagnetic spectrum. First, let's begin by looking at what we call the electromagnetic spectrum and understand what it all means. So, as you can see here on the scale of our spectrum, the wavelength scale can range over many magnitudes of size, from very very small wavelengths to much larger ones. Well, what is a wavelength exactly though? A wavelength is essentially the distance over which the periodic wave repeats itself. I like to just think of this as the distance between two crests of the wave, but it could also be the distance between two troughs of the wave, or really any point as long as a wave makes one whole cycle from your beginning point. Also, I should note that the symbol here that we use to denote wavelength is called lambda, which is just this stick looking thing here. So as you can see here, we can break up the electromagnetic spectrum into three main sections. Wavelengths smaller than visible light, visible light, and wavelengths larger than visible light. But what does this all mean? Well, first, let's cover one thing. If you remember in our previous video, we talked about how all objects above absolute zero emit thermal radiation. However, every object will emit radiation over a wide distribution of wavelengths like so, and not just one single wavelength. I just want you to recognize that not all wavelengths emitted from a body are identical. We will just focus on the size of the majority of the wavelengths. So, to understand what we're talking about here, let's look at an orange. So, as we can see here, we have wavelengths of all sizes coming into our orange, even wavelengths in the ultraviolet region and the infrared region. However, due to its color, we know something about this orange. The orange is going to absorb and hold onto, if you will, all of the wavelengths of radiation that are not orange. Therefore, it will not absorb wavelengths around 635 to 590 nanometers. Therefore, this is why orange is perceived by our eyes to be the color orange. Other than wavelength, what other parameters can we use to characterize radiation? Firstly, we have the frequency of the wavelength, which is how often the wave repeats itself in a given time period. Secondly, we have wavelength, which we have discussed already, and then we have the photon or wave speed. You may also hear this as the wave number, which is just the inverse of the wavelength. These four terms are related using the following equations. The speed of propagation is how fast our wave can travel in certain mediums. So it would make sense that our wave could travel quicker through a vacuum where there's nothing to hit versus say the ocean where there are many water molecules that it may bump into. Another interesting thing to note is that as the body's temperature increases, the wavelengths decrease. This leads to our wavelength distribution shifting from the infrared region into the visible light spectrum. This is why when you heat something up in your oven, it'll eventually begin to glow red. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped you learn something about wavelengths and the electromagnetic spectrum. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support our channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to address your concerns.